What's up everyone, Walk here from Reddit Alchemy bringing you the 7th war recap. Uh, this was our 8th victory in Harel, the longest streak since I joined the clan, so great job everybody. We won this 112-72, to 72. It, was kind, it was a mismatch for sure. They had a lot more Town Hall 7s than we had Town Hall 7s. And I think we had an extra Town Hall 9, and our offense was way better. And ultimately, I don't know. I wasn't very thrilled with our performance in the beginning, but, you know, we made the adjustments and we came on with a pretty strong showing for our offense-wise. Defensively, you know, they really stood no chance of coming at us with their offense. So kind of a mismatch, but still some things that can be learned. Why is this? Okay, so shout out to our six star people. My alt walk box, not really a surprise, because it's Town Hall 7 and they had a lot of extra Town Hall 7s. Rixo, Pure Demise, C Millie. Gear coming really close with a 99% 2 star, so great effort. Um, Hota FA. On track, six stars. He's a pretty consistent six star guy. Con seven. And champs with the six stars. And I believe that's it. So great job, everyone, on those six stars. And similar to last video, we've been concentrating so much on on Lava Loon, and particularly the Spiral Lava Loons, that I'm not going to do any Spiral Lava Loon or the Collapsing Spiral Lava Loons that were in the first five videos, and I'm not going to do multiple Lava Loon videos, or Lava Loon replays this video. We're going to focus a little more on Hogs. So, the first replay that we're going to do is Champs with a Goho on 2. Oh, before I start this. I will want to say, every clan castle in this was filled with 30 archers, and we made the the call very early to make sure you're getting the full pulls, and guys, early on we're not getting the full pulls, and it was screwing up attacks. You have to pay attention to clan, the clan mail, you have to pay attention to how you would attack and group me, you have to pay attention to chats. You have to make sure you're getting the full layer, guys. It's very, very important. You know, if I go to war events and I go to the bottom, you know, we have, you know, one stars from Smog, who's usually a pretty good pers uh, person in terms of getting three stars. Sean had a big screw up counter with a 99% too, that sucks. X Baller, you're usually better than that. You know, I think Nate might have had the same problem. K Slasher, you're usually better than that. You know, again, it wasn't a huge deal because then you see we made the adjustment in lots of three stars. But we, you really, you have to make the adjustments when, when we're telling you that is 30 archers and you need to definitely make sure you're getting the full CC lures you have to make sure you're getting them you have to plan accordingly so with that let's jump into champs on number what is this number two he's using a goho strategy so as you can see for goho strategies when the air defenses give you are clustered usually to prevent like a lava loon attack you can loon the outside buildings, which force the hogs into the core, and then you have a really nice cluster for healing with your heal spells. And what he does is he brings a rage spell, which is going to be really cool, because he knows he's going to the core, and he knows that his heal spells will cover all the remaining defenses, so he can drop a rage in the middle of the core and power through the core really fast, because time is of the essence on these hog attacks and that rage spell will just make everything go faster. So as you can see, he takes out these defenses with his 
loon part of this holo and it's gonna do us you know he's gonna kill the CC troops so all of these loons did double duty getting the entire outer ring covered and getting the lure and he's gonna pull the CC troops and there out comes the kill squad that are gonna collapse onto the queen and the really cool thing is he left this side down for the holo because his kill squad is going to be able to clean it up so why waste the troop space on loons for it so really really smart plan kind of backfires a little bit because he doesn't actually get in on the queen until after he drops the hogs but still a good adjustment and then this is the rage spell with the heal spell and then the third heal and there you go. The entire base is cleared. All he has to do is take out this weird ring of elixir and gold um, pumps. He ends on the town hall, so he's guaranteed a two. And then he's got a very easy cleanup. So that was a really, really cool plan by champs. You don't usually see rage spells on, on holo attacks, but... You know, excellent plan, excellent execution. The next thing that we're going to do is Lord Barb on 11. And that's because he originally planned a cold-blooded... Because the queen looks pretty exposed here. The air defense, pretty tight. But if he succeeds, he's going to get the queen a wizard tower, an air defense, a crossbow, and possibly an air defense. This is a really, really worthwhile cold-blooded coming in from here if he can get it. And then his plan was if he got only one to have a spiral collapsing, and if he got two, his plan was basically a flat line like that. But what ends up happening is his cold-blooded falls short. And so what he ends up making this really cool adjustment where he comes in here like he's starting the collapsing spiral. And he drops his loons like he is. But then he sends the lava at this one. And that's really, really cool because what's going to happen is these lavas are going to die first because they're exposed first which means that these the loons on this side let's turn it to green the loons on this side are going to be near dead when they try and make it to this air defense but the loons on the other side on this top side are going to be really healthy so that's why he drops the lava rather than continuing the spiral it looks like he breaks the spiral but it ends up tanking for the weaker loons on the side he needs so let's take a look Goes in with the cold-blooded, gets the queen, gets the king, clan castle, lair partial so far. Brings a zap spell to finish them off pretty quick. A little late on the zap spell because he's already lost his king, but what can you do? And his queen takes the elixir storage and doesn't make it to an air defense. So in comes his lava. As we said, he's basically starting like he's going to do a spiral. And then in comes this lava. And as you can see, rather than continuing the spiral, this lava is coming at this one. You know, this air defense is locked onto those loons. So look, he's only got, I think that's two or three loons left on low health, but this lava is tanking. So now these loons are going to be able to come across, and they get the air defense kill. While the healthy loons on the top side right here killed the other air defense so this is a great 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 recovery plan and that's what's important you have to have backup plans for when something fails so this was going to be a collapsing spiral that ended up turning into I mean I guess it was still a collapsing spiral but it was it was definitely a failed cold-blooded that he was able to alter his plan slightly and come away with a three star so that's great thinking in your feet and that comes with experience so great job Lord Barb you definitely deserved the shout out to this attack and then our next attack 
is going to be Jota, or I'm sorry, Hota Fe on 17. He hogged 17 and 18 for three stars each, both with hog attacks. And I don't remember which one this is. So he gets the clan castle lore. I think this is the one where he only needed three of the healing spells. Yeah. Pulls it to the an anchor spot. Kills the clan castle with the witches in the CC. And he uses wall breakers and he's coming in on with this kill squad to get the queen. He gets the queen a little bit early on the king rage, but that's okay. And so this is he used this to create a wedge. And now he's using the witches and the, the barb king to tank the mortar shots and the cannon shots and the expos, or at least one expo while his hogs come in. And that's a good way to be able to get your heal spells deeper into the core. So he got two really deep heal spells because the his kill squad was tanking the beginning. And then he's able to use a third heal spell when they come together, and he doesn't even need the fourth one. He might drop it to keep his hogs healthy through traps, but I'm not sure. But, you know, that's a... I... I've said it in other videos that when you're using a Shattered or you're using a Cold-Blooded that you can send the Hogs in behind the Golem and that will let you get deeper before you need your first heal. And he basically did the same thing but using his King as the Golem and the Witches as the Golems. And we'll show you 18 also. Because 18 does the really cool thing like Champs does, where he uses the Rage spell through the core, and it's a holo instead of a hog attack. So, he's using the loons to take out the free defenses. Two for archer towers, one for these gold cannons. You need two for black cannons, but um, that's alright. He gets the sea sealer, the full lore, so all those loons are doing double duty. Pulls it to the anchor spot. He's going to drop his witches and his heroes, and they're going to come in and get the queen. He has a, the open compartment to already get the queen, too, which is great. I'll put it on two times, so I didn't realize it was so slow. So down come his heroes and his witches, kill the queen, and then in come the hogs. And because he used this wedging motion, where the holo and his kill squad created the wedge there, he's going to spiral his hogs around like this. And what a spiral does like that is it allows you to very easily place your heal spells. It becomes like a Mickey Mouse. So that's what you do when you're rotating through the base with a hog attack. Rage spell and heal spell together to power through the core, a heal spell again, and just like that there's only one mortar left. And his hogs go to clean up. So this work recap was a little bit different. Uh, two holo attacks and only one lava loon attack and one regular hog attack. So I hope you learned something. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what kind of content you want to see, what you want to see differently. And this is Walk from Red Alchemy. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good night.